was sent to us via email from a massage therapist. And she asked us, if I test positive for antibodies and assuming I can't get coronavirus a second time, can I still be a carrier? She wants to know if she has the antibodies and gives a massage to an asymptomatic client, if she can now be a carrier and pass that on to someone else. Well, to get her those answers and to clear up her assumption that she can't get coronavirus a second time after testing positive for the antibodies, I reached out to infectious disease specialist and WUSA non-contributor, Dr. Linda Nabha. If you get exposed to COVID-19 and demonstrate antibodies, is there a chance that if you get exposed again, those antibodies are not protective? That is what we don't know. We know from other infections that if you get exposed to those infections, the body can certainly amount that antibody response. And then if you get re-exposed, your body does a great job at fighting it off. So you either don't feel it or you get a very mild course of illness. But there are infections certainly, for example, like hepatitis C, you actually can get re-exposed and get reinfected again, even though you had a prior antibody test. There have also been a lot of questions on Twitter about the copious COVID-19 antibody tests on the market and their accuracy. So I reached out to the FDA and Quest Diagnostics to answer those questions. A few weeks ago, Quest launched a new direct consumer antibody testing service. Here are their answers to your top COVID-19 antibody test questions. Question one, if I get an antibody test, can I tell if I have the virus? Well, according to Quest Diagnostics, an antibody test will not tell you if you're actively infected. It's only gonna tell you if you've developed antibodies to the virus. Question two, does a positive antibody test infer immunity? The FDA issued a statement saying, although we do not know yet whether the development of antibodies provides protection from reinfection or how long such protection lasts, COVID-19 antibody tests may indicate whether the person has been exposed to the virus and developed antibodies against it, which means that person has at least some immunity to the coronavirus. And according to Quest, while the role of antibodies in preventing COVID-19 disease has yet to be established, antibody testing for other respiratory illnesses, well, that provides insight into immunity to future disease, i.e. SARS. They say the CDC, FDA, and NIH are currently studying the role of antibody testing in assessing COVID-19 immunity. So how accurate are those antibody tests? Well, according to UC Berkeley Assistant Professor of Bioengineering, Patrick Sue, there are over 200 different COVID-19 antibody tests on the market. And he says that's more than we have for any other infectious disease. On its website, the FDA has listed the tests that they've authorized. We count 13 of them. And Quest says they use three of the tests from that list. The FDA's emergency use authorization is based off of a number of scores in various categories. And Quest says that the most important one is a test's ability to identify those that do not have the disease, aka false positives. And 10 out of 13 of those that are on their website, well, they scored 99% in that category, Bruce.